you decided to answer the calling. Things will look good when you didn't answer the calling. That's how the devil makes it seem like. Everyone was pleased with you. You have a whole family with you. Because you didn't answer the calling. Everybody was able to be with you, but when you answer the calling, here comes everything that could go wrong. Go wrong. Don't kid, don't, don't kid yourself. And, 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 and this on this journey, sometimes you cry. Brother, some big man cry on this journey. You think you don't get your arm oh, man? You cry. You cry on this journey. You ever cry? <laughs> when you think about the pain and the and the and the situation that you can't hurt. And you say this and tears come to your eyes. And you and you you wanna ask God why, but you, you said, No, I can't question God. You don't want to ask him why. But then you remind yourself, okay, I can't question in God. So if God allow it, it means it it must be a reason for the suffering. Because the suffering produced the glory. What you say, Pastor? If I don't suffer, mother. I can't carry the glory. The glory is in my suffering. And the glory can't be revealed until the vessel is broken. <laughs> I said it, 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 it will not be revealed until the vessel is broken. God invest glory in her. She don't know. Because well, she's still learning God. The more she learns God, the more she comes to the understanding that she's carrying something that are attracting the enemy. You know what I say? 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 I say the more she give herself to God, the more the situation get more worse. It's because of what she's carrying. God told me to tell the church today that the church need to step up. The church need to step up. Stop playing around. This is no game. You are in real warfare. This is real. And the more you play around, the more advantage you are giving to the, the enemy. The more you think he's not real, the more you see a situation not moving. We gotta stop. Church, we gotta get real with God, man. Greatness only comes when the vessel has been broken. This young man's anointed. This young man's anointed. But the anointing will not be seen until this young man be broken. The anointing must be squeezed out of him into someone. So he can be able to bless somebody with the anointing that God has placed upon him. And it's the brokenness that released the anointing. Until Jesus Christ died, Christ was only limited to one place, Jerusalem, Israel. But when he died, he becomes omnipresent. 
Because he's, there's no limitation because now the anointing is flowing out. The water, the blood is a flow. The anointing must flow the vessel things of God. And it is serious. God will warn you it's serious. If this young man is not right and he's playing this keyboard for God, he will find himself in trouble with God. He'll find himself in trouble with who? Not the devil. Because in this, as he played, as gifted he is, as he played and not being right, I'm just using him as an example, he's often up strange fire and look and feel like the Holy Ghost fire, but it's strange fire. Folks is dancing and shouting, but it's strange fire. Because the vessel is not clean. Amen. I want to worship God. You better make sure that you're living a consecrated life. Don't come up and know it's a danger. And I'm warning, I'm warning you. God knows I'm warning you. Can it be exposed to movies that have nothing to do with Christ but corrupting my soul? Then come, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. No, no repentance. Watch it. Watch it. The Holy Ghost will not come on this man if this man living a, a, a lifestyle that is outside of God's will. Will never come on him. He'd be in church for 50 years. The Holy Ghost will not come on him. Because the Holy Ghost is looking for a clean vessel. The Holy Ghost is looking for a vessel that I set aside. It's not just the gift. Because nowadays church is exalting the gift. But not the giver of the gift who is God. Oh, she sing good. Oh, he sing good. That's the gift. But are you been consecrated? Are you been broken from your will? Are you dead from your will? Because if you ain't dead, you're not qualified to carry Christ. You have to be dead. That's why if any man will follow me, he must pick up his cross and deny himself. I can't follow him if I'm not willing to deny me. And me is hard to deny because I spend a lot of time with me. I invest a lot of things in with me. But at the same time, I want to come in the presence of God and I want God to do a miracle. They don't work like that. The two sons of Aaron. You remember the two sons of Aaron? The brother of Moses. The Bible says they went in the temple and they offer up strange fire before God and God consumed them. God consumed them. Not the devil. God consumed them. God killed them. God killed them because they offer up strange fire. How many times in church we offer up strange fire? Because the vessel that is doing it ain't consecrated. How we say, more fire, more fire. No, you need to die. Jesus. That shepherd green of mustard seed fall in the ground. And die. It remained alone. But if it die, it shall bring forth more. The fruit is where? In the dead. You don't look at the gift. 
would you identify the giver of the gift? Satan has creep up in the church. Satan has creep up in our church, in the church, and we allow him to come in because we open doors. Monday to Saturday, we live in some kind of way. On Sunday, Saturday, we try to get it right, because Sunday right there. On Sunday, we come with the praise, the Lord bless the Lord, I love you, Lord. Monday, God didn't hear from you. Tuesday, mm -mm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And now you are called on fire on Sunday. And you now wasn't you wasn't preparing yourself by fasting and praying. And allow God to search your heart. Hey, if God told me I'm not right, sit down, I'll sit down, drop this mic, and not preach until God said preach again. That's how that's my prayer for God. I will not waste my time coming here preaching and know I'm not right. I'll drop this mic, I'll sit down and let somebody teach me. Until I'm ready. I, I, that time, this is no game. This is no game. I don't have to give, but the give needs to be anointed. By the giver of the gift. And that's what the Holy Ghost comes in. It anoints the gift. And what the anointing does. What it does. What it does. What Isaiah 10 27 said. Destroy the yokes. Yeah, I'm burning. I remove burning. What does it? Anointing. The gift. Yeah. Anointing the gift. Yeah. Anointing the gift does it, right? What does it? Anointing. What does it? So the gift don't do it. What, it, what does it? The anointing. anointing. So anointing. that the, the gift have to be anointed. The vessel have to be anointed that have the gift. Not just have a gift with no anointing. And nothing moving. Nothing moving. Nothing moving. We crying out, oh Jesus, he's nothing moving. You're praying, but nothing moving. Check your life. Check your lifestyle. Be honest with yourself. Check your lifestyle. Ask the Holy Ghost to search you. And when God reveal it to you, then you repent. But don't pretend like it ain't there when it's there. This is why Israel was defeated many times because they come out of the will of God. This is why a lot of Christians are being defeated because they are not in the will of God. They come out of the will of God. If a preacher can preach, God do means that he's in the will of God. That's the gift. What is the, the qualification? Not the gift. The fruit of the Spirit. Not the gift. The fruit of the Spirit is the qualification. Amen. Your preaching brings stone and fire, but let me see some food. Because you can gimmick the, the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. Only the Holy Ghost can bring the fruit of the Spirit. So if the person don't have the fruit of the Spirit, then the person not belongs to God. Even though he's a good preacher, 
Oh, she's a good preacher. It don't, God don't operate like that because somebody didn't give. They are saved. You have to be broken. And if you're not willing to be broken, you can never be used. Oh boy, I hear nothing. Hmm? I hear hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're listening. That's good. You're listening. This is what God told me this morning. So tell the church, stop playing. But we need to stop playing with him. Stop playing with ourselves, man. Stop playing. Lip service, but no power. Because what power does? Power change, folks. Some of your loved ones running from you. He ain't saved yet. All the anointing that is supposed to be in you. The anointing destroys the yoke. So whatever's holding them in bondage, the anointing on your life should be able to destroy it. Mm -hmm. It's able to what? To release the them from the burden and destroys every yoke. Mm -hmm. With fasting and praying things of God. Many of us right here don't fast and don't pray. But then we call Jesus. And we see a mighty move of God. You're not gonna see anything. Because you ain't following the instruction. Do you know God always gives instruction? Huh? He told the disciples, go in Jerusalem. And what? And carry. Carry. And what? Carry. That means you don't move from that, from that place. You must not move from that place. Go in Jerusalem and tarry. And wait until what? No. And then what? No. Go get some cards and print some prints and open up your ministry. Because you been prophesied over. You're gonna be a pro you're a prophet, you're a pro you're a pastor, you're an apostle. So go and start ministry. They did they, 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 what they did? They tarry. For what? Mm -hmm. And so what was what was the Holy Ghost? So they tarry for the Holy Ghost to be in power because why? The, these people are going out dealing with demons. They're going out preaching to people that have been possessed with devil. And it takes a higher power to undo a power. <laughs> the devil don't fail a little card, you know. Oh, this is my business card, this is my ministry. The devil don't fail. You can make a million to them. And you fight it up, the devil don't fail. The devil fear the one that carried the anointing on their life. Because she becomes a great threat to the devil when you are carrier of the anointing. What the anointing does to a man, anointing will kill that man, that natural man, will to die. That's why Paul was saying, I die daily, but yet I live. The eye he's talking about with the flesh. And I live means the spirit of God, spirit of Christ that's in him. That are given him true life. So he's dying from the natural, the physical, but yet he's living to the spiritual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elijah had a servant. What did Elijah's servant name, the name? Who was fallen? His spiritual son. Okay. He desired what? The mantle. So Elijah said, if you see when I... Then you can what? You have the mantle, right? If you see, right? 
Elijah, the servant Elijah, was never supposed to be a prophet. If you search the scripture, he was a farmer. God turned a farmer into a prophet. Because the farmer desired to have the mantle of his spiritual father. So God said, okay, I will give him a double portion. Hallelujah, Jesus. Of his spirit. Before God take Moses, God instruct Moses to release the spirit of Moses upon Joshua and upon the 70 old elders. Amen. 